Hi, my name is Naomi Baru, and I'm a first year DPhil student here at Oxford in the Engineering Science Department. I specifically work in the Thermal Fluids Laboratory where I'm working with Dr. Peter Ireland on trying to develop heat transfer systems for a nuclear fusion reactor. And in my spare time, I really enjoy being outside, so I spend a lot of time walking in the parks, going for runs, uh, trying things like rowing or all kinds of Oxfordy things. Um, and I really enjoy just hanging out with friends, listening to music, playing the piano and things like that. So I'm going to go through these cards. The first one, where do you see yourself in five years time? So in five years, I would have been about a year out from finishing my DPhil. So I would have been finished my DPhil about a year already. So I don't know, it's kind of crazy to think that, to think about what I'll be doing in five years. Um, I might be a professor, possibly. I think it would be really fun to have a job where I could be interacting with young students um, and also a job where I could be serving as like a role model to students who uh, may not have ever seen like a woman engineering professor or a black engineering professor, so something like that. Um, but I also could see myself doing something maybe a little different, like maybe looking into doing like a policy role or something like that. Um, because I really enjoy seeing all the different ways that my engineering degree can affect like the greater public population. Who is your hero? So that's a big question. Um, I have many heroes and when I think mainly about my heroes in terms of like engineering and my career path, I mainly think of all of the people who have been like pioneers in my field in terms of being the first. So what I mean by that is um, I'm from the US and there's a lot of schools in the U.S. that have never had, say, um, a black woman complete a Ph.D. in physics or complete a Ph.D. in engineering. So every time I hear a story about a woman who looks like me who completed, you know, their Ph.D. in engineering and they're the first one from, say, MIT or the University of Michigan or something like that, um, I automatically get so excited um, because it just shows how diverse the field is becoming and how much progress we're making as a society. Um, so really, all of those women are essentially my heroes. What advice would you give, would you now give your 12-year-old self? Hmm. So when I was 12, yeah, when I was 12, I remember, I think I wanted to be a doctor at the time um, and I was just starting to learn about math and science and things like that and I was really terrified by math because I saw that a lot of students were really good naturally at math it seemed that they kind of had like some inept ability to just know how the math worked and I didn't have that so I felt like I had to put in a lot more work which kind of discouraged me from doing something that would involve a lot of math and made me want to do something like um, a little less math heavy but over time, I've sort of realized that it doesn't matter necessarily what you're good at naturally, it's just what you're interested in. And regardless, over time, if you really are passionate about something, you can figure it out. So over time, even though I wasn't naturally good at math, I could figure out everything I needed to figure out, which in the end worked out in my favor. So I would tell my younger 12-year-old self like, not to stress out so much about what you don't know and just focus on what you love and then everything else will sort of work itself, work itself out. Describe yourself in three words. So the first word would definitely be relaxed. Um, I definitely take things pretty easily. I go with the flow. Um, it takes a lot to kind of get, get, get me. So that can be pretty useful in terms of like the ups and downs of the research life. I kind of just take everything as it comes. Uh, the second one would be practical. Um, I think about things pretty practically when I'm making decisions. Um, and the third would be, hmm, I would say, um, uh, maybe adventurous because I'm always interested in learning about new fields, even if they're not necessarily my field, they're learning about new things in general. Um, which is something that I've done a lot here at Oxford. I've gone to lots of history lectures, uh, lots of, I'm going to some English lectures next term, just learning about other things. Um, and I like to keep an open mind. And the last one, what is your favorite invention? Huh. My favorite invention. 
Huh. That one is a hard one. I guess. Huh. I guess I'll take I'll take a practical approach for this one. Um, the bicycle is really useful here at Oxford. My lab is kind of far, so taking walking would take much longer than just biking around. Even sometimes driving takes longer than biking around at Oxford. So like the bike really saves my life in terms of getting places on time, making sure that I can go places and not just be stuck in one place at all the time. So honestly, probably the bicycle. And that's all my questions. <laughs> Thank you.